Historically, the greatest impediment to the use of testosterone therapy was the dogma that testosterone caused and promoted prostate cancer. In the 1980s, I was taught that a healthy man that received a testosterone injection today would come back in one month with aggressive prostate cancer. The belief originated with Charles Huggins, a Nobel Prize winner in 1941. He claimed that testosterone injections acted as a prostate cancer accelerator. Stunningly, his claim was based on one patient treated for only 18 days. Over the last 30 years, the evidence has repeatedly, uniformly, and overwhelmingly shown this to be false. I'd like to show you some highlights from a robust evidence base. Does higher testosterone, endogenous, naturally occurring testosterone increase prostate cancer risk? The answer is no. How do we know? The best data come from two large studies, the PCPT and the REDUCE trials, in which every man underwent prostate biopsy. Total testosterone, free testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, none were associated with increased prostate cancer risk. 